a little break from our normal content. Welcome to today's 3D print. So, um, there's a big kerfuffle going on with Creality and GPL licensing. And it scares the hell out of me. <laughs> I mean, it really scares me. Um, I started this channel like I did most of my other content outlets simply as a way to share the neat interesting stuff that I do whether it be high-speed video or 3d printing or rocketry or my electric car whatever it is just I have a love for recording content and that content is utterly useless and worthless if nobody can share it so what's the point if nobody can look at it and what's the point of taking a thousand pictures if no one's ever going to see them why bother so I share them um, then a year ago, uh, my pop died and left me with a lot of debt. That was his, but because it's in my name, it's mine. And I have to deal with it. And I deliver pizza for a living. Yeah, that's not fun. He also left me with my siblings that I'm now responsible for taking care of for the rest of my life. So, um, I'm never going to have a family. i got to take care of his family. They're my family, too. So... That's not an entirely bad thing. It's just rough. I work over 100 hours a week, three full-time jobs. I deliver a pizza for 30, 35 hours a week plus driving time, about an hour a day. And then I work my dad's old adult bookstore, which I don't know how to run. It's failing. And I suspect my family is stealing from it. And I do this. Once I found out there's a possibility I can make money from it legitimate honest money as I stated last June July when I got serious about this my intended goal of this channel is to make an honest living doing this um, I'm in the process of attempting to move to Oklahoma of all places or some other place if I find some place better because I would go from paying the $8,000 a year I pay in property taxes now to paying under $800 a year in property taxes with a much lower cost of living that I could actually afford because this place will eventually fail. I can't, there's no way I can sustain this. It's unsustainable. Um, in fact, the only reason I can even pay the mortgage is because of this channel. I make about six, seven hundred bucks a month from affiliate links on this channel and that is literally floating my mortgage payment, barely, because the business isn't making money anymore and the pizza delivery is just barely paying the notes on all the debt that I was left with. So then I realized that 90% of my affiliate link sales, literally 90%, were Creality printers. Yeah, that sucks. But if the community turns on me, then I fail. I lose everything and if um, Creality sales fail because Gearbest is in a fight with Creality then I fail so if I'm going to fail I might as well fail doing the right thing so what is the right thing what is GPL you're asking GPL is basically a license a contract think of it like this when you go into a restaurant and you order spaghetti and meatballs and a Diet Coke. You've just entered into a legally binding contract. You have requested food and the payment for that food is money. When you're done eating, you pay for your food. If you don't pay for your food, you've broken the law. You've taken something. You've taken food. You've taken spaghetti, meatballs, and Diet Coke and you haven't paid for it. Well, GPL software is free of monetary costs, but it's not free. There is a cost. And the cost of GPL software is you release your source. Why? What's the point? Well, Marlin is open source software. The entire point of open source software is that many different people from many different areas can work on and improve the software. And those improvements make it back to the core. So call it Marlin Core. You have all kinds of Marlin forks. You have the Marlin that's in your mono pricing. You have the Marlin that's in your Wanhound. You have the Marlin that's in your Tronix Y. And you have the Marlin that's in your 
Creality printer, no more than it's in your AlphaWise printer. And each of these manufacturers do different things. And they can also change the software because it's open. It's, it's wide open, you can do whatever you want to it. And then the people at the core can say, hey, you know something, this company XYZ or this user XYZ came up with this great idea, it makes the software better, that can then be incorporated back into the core. And so over time, the core, Marlin, gets better and better and better. And part of the reason it gets better is because it's open source. So you have people from multiple directions and angles all improving it. You know, think of it like a, um, a rocket ship where, you know, I don't have one, where, you know, this one guy makes the engine a little bit better. And then this one guy makes the vernier thrusters a little better. And this other guy makes the recovery charge a little bit better. And this other guy figures out how to knock 2% off the fuel usage with a better shaped nose cone. And all this comes back to a core design um, archive. And then when the next revision of the rocket comes out, the team goes, yes, you know, that was a great engine upgrade. You know, there's seven engine upgrades. That one was the best one, so we're going to use that upgrade. And, you know, that new shape for the aero skin was lighter and produced more efficiency. And then Rocket 2.0 is even better and it was better because you had a distributed workload of people and different expertise and different ideas and doing different things all bringing that work back to the core so that's the essential concept of how open source software works the GPL is a license meant to enforce that it's also meant to give the end users rights to their hardware to try to stop the lockdown of hardware now people say and I said as well to a point well if a company develops something that is better, shouldn't they be able to profit from it? I don't know the correct answer to that. Uh, I think they should be able to. I think a way should be found to make that possible, but that requires a willing participant on both ends, especially Creality's end, and it doesn't sound like they're very willing. Um, they sent some pretty, maybe there's a translation thing going on, but some pretty hostile emails to people saying, oh, we're going closed source even more haha -ha. <laughs> okay but that's like stealing the spaghetti and meatball dinner and then not paying like you agreed to it's it's not theft but it's violation of the contract okay with the um you agreed that this more than firmware that made your printer possible you could not have made your printer without this firmware and now you're not going to follow according to the license and share back the source code. That would allow other users to incorporate the improvements you made back to the core. Um, I have no problem with Creality wanting to close down their firmware. Write your own. You want to want closed firmware? That's not a problem. It's your right. Just write the firmware yourself. Don't take someone else's firmware, agree to a license agreement, and then say, bye-bye. <laughs> which essentially is what they can do. Do I think these efforts to not recognize these companies will have any effect? No. I think they're utterly pointless. Um, they're good intended. The intentions are good. The, the mindset is good, which is why I'm also going to do it. I will not stop using and profiting from the printers I have, but I will, I can't. I mean, I have bills, I have debts. But I will not review future printers from them if they do not comply with the GPL. I already have three Ender 3s coming. Uh, they're already bought and paid for. They're probably already on a boat on the way here. So I'm not going to turn them down. I'm not going to not use them. But I'm not going to make a review video of them either. I am not going to help them violate the GPL. It's, that's not right. Do I think it'll work? Nope. I think if they lost every single sale for every single printer sold in the United States, it wouldn't even be a blink on their radar. I don't even think they'd notice. It's like they sell this many printers and this many go to the U.S. And that's if 100% of the U.S. population said, we don't like you because you violated GPL. They would just ignore us. Because in the scale of number of printers they sell, it's completely irrelevant. But... Sometimes it's just a matter of principle. I hope it doesn't result in the well, the demise of my way of life. It could. That's not hyperbole. 
if this kerfuffle with these Chinese vendors goes badly. Well, there goes my income source. <laughs> yeah, that would kind of suck. We'll see what happens. I mean, if I'm going to go down, go down doing the right thing, right? That makes sense. Do the right thing. Because no matter what happens, I have to live with my decisions. And I think that's slightly more important. Even if the outcome is bad. So, we shall see. What I would like is for somebody to work on a list of compliant, GPL compliant printers and GPL non-compliant printers. So at least I know what I can and can't review. Last thing I want is people getting angry at me because I review some printer I was sent and then find out later it's not GPL compliant, you know. I don't exactly have months to spend researching and trying to find out. I mean, just sending a message to one of these companies, it might be a month before they reply. And the reply might be, sure, here you go, here's the source. Or there might be no reply at all. I mean, so having a compiled list of, okay, these guys are compliant and these guys aren't, would really be helpful. So, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day.